What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 10 video. Now, recently my computer was pretty much out of commission, completely broken, but I just fixed it, I'm really excited, we're back on it, and because of that I actually have a fun video for you guys. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content. And answer my comment question of the day, what is your favorite Rocky Helmet user in any format, whether it be VGC, singles, whatever. But yeah, let's go ahead and talk about the team I'm using today. So a couple of days ago, uh, I put up a poll saying, hey guys, the Pokemon with the least amount of likes is going to be the one that I use in the next video. And someone said Garbodor, and at the time, I had actually gone on a live stream and chose the, uh, the one with the least amount of likes, and it was the Garbodor. So that's what we're using today. I really didn't have too many ideas for Garbodor, but I one one just you know sort of popped into my head after having used the Rocky Helmet Moltres a couple of days ago, and Rocky Helmet Garbodor sounds kind of heat, mainly because offensively it's pretty middling, like it's eh. Um, I decided to go for like a two shot with Gunk Shot on Xerneas, and that's about as good as we can do. We definitely live the hit. Uh, we get, we're able to eat a hit from Zacian at plus one, and if it's at neutral, we're actually able to eat it pretty well. Um, and we also, like, just wall out things like Rillaboom or Incineroar. Initially, I had Pain Split on this guy, uh, but I ended up switching it off for Drain Punch, because Gunk Shot, you only have eight shots of it, and it's 80% accuracy, so 80% of eight is, like, one. <laughs> that isn't how math works, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't do the math in my head. Oh... Uh, Physicist, we can't do basic arithmetic. Anyways, we're gonna miss at least like two or three of, the, of these in any given set. So rather than having it be helpless, I decided to put Drain Punch over Pain Split. So yeah, basically this guy is gonna be able to tank hits, and if in any kind of Urshifu dares touch this thing and two shot it, it's gonna have a, a rough time after the aftermath. So yeah, uh, we got that guy, uh, and the reason we're running Garbodor on a Palkia team, standard Palkia team, I stole most of the sets. <laughs> Uh, the reason we're running it is because uh, the way I tend to build with Pokemon is it's like, okay, you know, what does this Pokemon beat in terms of Restricteds? Oh, it beats Xerneas? Cool, we can use a Dragon type. What's a good Dragon type? Palkia is pretty good. Doesn't like Xerneas, so now we have two Xerneas checks in this team, and yeah. The only other thing on this team that's kind of, you know, not quite standard right now is I'm running a Eviolite Porygon 2. Uh, it's got Download, Trick Room, Recover, Foul Play, Thunderbolt. Decided to run Foul Play because it's actually pretty decent right now in terms of Porygon 2 moves. Didn't really need any ice coverage on this team. We already have enough ways of hitting Landorus, you know, with just Rillaboom and Palkia in general. Uh, so I decided to run Thunderbolt for the electric coverage and Foul Play to be able to hardwall out Calyrex uh, Shadow and just deal decent damage to any physical attacker. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's shoot for 200 likes in this video. Also, the EV spreads are very tentative, at least on the Palkia and the Porygon 2. Like, obviously, I didn't run any Calyx, it just said special defensive, whatever. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Hopefully, we can get some good games with this team. I didn't, I wasn't able to test it on stream, mainly because I was working off my laptop, and my laptop is not quite as powerful as my PC. It couldn't even record Showdown, so yeah. We actually face uh, a team that doesn't quite like Garbodor. All things considered, it's able to hit a couple of things pretty hard. Uh, obviously, we have to be careful for the Landorus Incarnate in particular, but I think we'll be fine. We should actually be able to like lead off Garbodor plus Incineroar and, you know, be all right. Uh, I think I definitely want to bring the, I can actually, mm. what if instead of Garbodor on lead, I was a little bit smarter with my play <laughs> and I went with, I think I can manage to go like Palkia and Sin on lead, Porygon 2, and we'll bring Garbodor for the sake of the video. For the sake of the video, Garbodor will be coming to this match. As they pretty much lead off with what I expected. Um, I mean, they know they're faster than me, so there's a good chance they're actually just going to go ahead and fake out my um, Incineroar. It'd be really cool if I could just one-shot this Lando. I'm going to go for it. This is probably really dumb. I'm going to P2. I really hope they just fake out the Incineroar and try to one shot the uh and try to one shot it on the same turn. At least that's what I would do here. 
I should be able to one-shot the Lando if I can connect this 85% accurate move, which, you know, famous last words, but actually it looks like I probably got the better deal. Getting rid of Incineroar early is pretty nice. So go for the Grassy Glide. Oh man, hey, hey, that thing's gone. That thing's gone. <laughs> oh man, that's going to be really good for me. Uh, anyways, uh, they send out the Zacian here. I can actually just go into my Incineroar and uh, Trick Room up. Should be relatively safe. Actually, even better. Even better, I can do this. Yeah, I'm going to go into Incineroar. I'm going to try to Trick Room. And then on the next turn, I'm going to double out into Garbodor. I'm going to Parting Shot, actually, into the Garbodor, and that's going to be really heat. They're probably scared of me having Ice Beam on this Porygon, too. Uh, but I don't, because I'm an idiot. And I thought Foul Play would be cooler. I should probably just run Ice Beam, all things considered. But I think Foul Play is fun. I don't know, we'll figure it out. If I end up losing to enough Landorus by the end of this match, or by the end of this uh, recording, I'll go ahead and I'll switch over to Ice Beam instead of Foul Play. Not like Porygon 2 loses to Calyrex Shadow in any situation anyways. So go for the Grassy Glide and the Behemoth Blade. I'm sorry, sir, that's not enough. That's not enough. You can't stop this thing. You literally can't. Hey, there's the forfeit. Unfortunately, we didn't get to use the Garbodor. It would have been really fun to Rocky Helmet something in that game, but it's whatever. It's whatever. Okay, so Kyogre Mamoswine. On paper, you'd look at this team and be like, oh yeah, that's dumb. No, how terrifying is it looking at Kyogre and Mamoswine on the same team preview? You can't fake out the Mamoswine, and typically on lead versus Kyogre, you want to bring some kind of fake out Pokemon. Just for the sake of faking out the Kyogre at the very least, but no. We don't have any of those options. Palkia doesn't even like taking on this thing. That's scary, and I can't intimidate it. Um... I mean, Palkia is still going to be a great lead for me. I think I'm going to go Palkia Rillaboom, and that's pretty safe. P2 is also looking really nice. Stack Attack is calling my name, but Garbodor has my soul. He's just like, Marcos, use me. Marcos, why aren't you using me? I'm so sad. Uh, there's a solid chance. There's a solid chance they're going to try to prevent my Trick Room here. So I could just try to Hydro Pump this Nihiligo. Fake out. Yeah, I think they're just going to try to taunt me here. So they go for the Moonblast. Interesting. So I get the Nihiligo. Honestly, Palkia is such a good Pokemon, dude. The amount that it can do in any given game. Just the sheer damage it has. It goes crazy. It goes crazy. Let me go into my Garbodor here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to U-turn on this Whimsicott to break a Sash. So they Grassy Glide. They deal no damage. And they're gonna eat they're gonna have to deal with this thing for a minute. Special attack drop, it's not like I really care. Oh! Okay, hello fellow Rocky Helmet enthusiast. How are you today? <laughs> oh, that's kinda cool. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna trick room up here. They should be very scared of me. I could gunk shot this Whimsicott right now and be pretty safe. Uh, but I think I get a lot more out of gunk shotting the Rillaboom. Because it should KO from this range. And I'm gonna try to trick room. So they moonblast me. They're going for it. They're going for it. As I connect, that thing's gone, and I feel like I win. I think Garbodor's about to win this game for us. Hey, Kyogre, come out here. Let's see how much you take from this. Oh, it's Mamoswine. Okay, all right. Uh, That's not too bad. I think Foul Play into Drain Punch is perfectly fine, considering they just refuse to bring the Restricted to this match. Oh, okay. I got Nane on. Uh, I mean, I can just go into the Rillaboom here. It's really no big deal. I'm going to go ahead and lock myself into Grassy Glide since they can't really prevent me from KOing it. I'm going to go into my Palkia here. Yeah, they should always lose the Mamoswine here. Unless they Ice Shard me, which they probably will. If they do not, that's fine. Uh, I can just lock the Mamoswine down. They have no way of preventing this from KOing. Uh, do I risk the Hydro Pump? I don't know if Spatial Ren KOs, especially if it's like... Was it Life Orb? It didn't reveal an item. Um, I'm going to Hydro Pump. Or it's probably Focus Sash, but... Still, I don't I don't trust this thing KOing it. Should actually go into Porygon 2, all things considered, and attempt the Hydro Pump. So they Moonblast me. Are they going to get the KO? Ice Skill Spear? Come on, come on. Oh yeah, no. Nah. You can't beat me, I'm too lucky. I'm too lucky. Anyways, Thunderbolt. They end up losing to this in the long run. 
suppose I don't really need this thing. I'm just going to go for the uh, wood hammer. Should be my best bet. I think Thunderbolt plus wood hammer should do it. It's going to be close. Nah, no. I end up winning regardless, though. Yeah, especially if I paralyze them right there. Just keep going for Thunderbolt. Eventually, they're not going to have any recovery and I win. Yeah, GG. Nice. Yeah, I don't think they could come back from that. Interesting, they just decided not to bring the Kyogre. Ooh, alright. No, you know what? You know what? The, uh... <laughs> The uh, Foul Play Porygon 2 is about to show what it's worth this game. It's about to show its worth. I actually also really like Garbodor here. Like, look at what Garbodor does for this team. Defensively, at the very least. Alright, uh, I think my play here is going to be to go ahead and lead off Incineroar Garbodor. I really don't mind that too much. Actually, I could... I can go Palkia Garbodor. Give me a little bit more offensive pressure out front. Porygon 2. I mean, Stack Attack is also really good. Actually, Stack Attack is phenomenal in this matchup. I think I bring Stack over Garb. Alright, cool. Um, likely Rising Voltage Regieleki, so we're just not even going to play with that. Fake Out Spatial Ren should do it. I don't really care about the Dazzling Gleam as long as I don't get Rising Voltaged. I could Trick Room too. Trick Room would probably be... Pretty safe here, but I don't want to end up losing the Calyrex immediately. Eh, I should probably Trick Room. I'll Trick Room. Nah, I could have gotten rid of Reggie. I could have gotten rid of uh, Reggie Lucky right there. So they Gleam. That's fine. I'm slower than both these guys, so what I can actually do is... I should be able to go for the Snarl here into the Spatial Ren, and that's safe. And that stops me from taking too much from this Tabu Coco. Yeah, and they're not going to like that. Is their policy... Alright, um... Luckily, Porygon 2 should be slower than this thing, so I can foul play it next turn. But my play is pretty much always going to be to try to KO this guy, like, right now. Like, right now, right now. How much did my Spatial Ren do? 44%. Uh, it's going to be a roll to KO. Hopefully it does enough. I'm just going to go ahead and double into it. Alright, nice. Uh, my play here is... Going to stack attacker. You can eat the hit pretty well. Going to rock slide. And I'm actually in a pretty good spot if I get this. And I'm once again going to Flare Blitz. Actually, no. <laughs> no, no. I end up dying here. I, mean, I got to keep the P2 regardless. I'll try to Rock Sled. Dang, I messed up bad. I messed up bad. They should know they just KO me if they fake out, right? If they, if they fake out the Incinera, I'd consider that a major throw. I don't know why I thought I was slower than this thing. Uh, I, I assumed I was running my zero speed set, but I am not. And even then, I think that's a speed tie, right? No, it's not. Incineroar is naturally faster. Yeah, because Calyrex is... Um, could have sworn Calyrex was base 65 like Incineroar. Or is Incin base 60? I always forget this. Base 60. What's Calyrex? Fifty. Okay, I don't know why I thought it was like sixty. Anyways, let me turn on the timer. So they go for the fake out. Smart, smart play. And they actually high horsepowered. Huh. That's interesting. Anyways, I lose. GG. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of there. I'm gonna get out of there. I want to get a really, really good. Um. I want to get a really good, Garbodor game going. Something with Xerneas. Something with Xerneas is always great because they don't know that this thing gets haze. Obviously, they usually don't stay in. But sometimes they're just they're just willing. Like they're just willing to go for the geomancy and then I just get the haze off. Okay, this is ooh, Colossal? Non-Dynamax? That's a little spicy. That that is a little spicy. A little too spicy, in fact. 
I don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> I'm a bit intimidated. Um, yeah. I mean, Palkion lead looks phenomenal regardless. I'm gonna go ahead and go Palkia Incineroar. Actually, I, I should never lead Incineroar versus this team. What am I doing? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go Palkia Rillaboom. Gives me some fake out pressure for this guy. And I'm actually gonna bring Incineroar Garbodor, because at this point I'm just gonna try to shoehorn the Garbodor into whatever match I can get. Yeah, no, I'm really scared of that Colossal. I don't know what it's going to do. Hopefully it's not Play Revzacian either. As uh, looks like I make a pretty good decision here. I should be faster than a Blastoise unless it's like Choice Scarf. My play is pretty much always going to be to Trick Room and Fake Out. <laughs> if they... <laughs> If they try to be cheeky and like side Aqua Jet into Zapdos switching in the Colossal, that's just, it makes no sense because they know I should Trick Room here, right? They should be anticipating a Trick Room. Yeah, hopefully this thing isn't like max speed Choice Scarf Blastoise because that'd be really frustrating. <laughs> Freaking Choice Scarf Fake Out. And I'm going to assume that after a Fake Out, since this thing doesn't get any recovery, uh, it should be in range of like Spatial Rend. I haven't used Palkia too much, like, ever, so I'm not familiar with, like, the power level it's capable of. So they fake me out back. Um, I mean, this should still be pretty safe to Trick Room here and go into Garb. I don't really see them being able to KO me. Yeah, like, Blastoise doesn't put on too much offensive pressure, a... I mean, it's also it also should be scared of like Grassy Glide. Pretty sure you can like calc to live that as Blastoise, considering it has somewhat usable defense. But still, say Thunderous kick me. That's fine. That's fine. Hey, check this out. Check this out. They're gonna Thunderous kick me again. They got no clue. They got no clue that I'm always living that. Actually, I should probably just spatial rend it. I should spatial rend it, but I'm actually going to make a big brain play. Ah, uh, no, do I? I'm really tempted to haze away this, but it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Let me gunk shot you. I really hope you're not AV. Yeah, spatial rend's really safe here. Unless, of course, they go right into Zacian. Which I don't know if I'd do that if I were them. Like, the Hydro Pump's really scary. And if you go into Zacian for anything, it should be the Entei. As I connect, awesome. And they give me the Zapdos. Sacred Fire. Alright. Get a burn on my guy. That's fine. That should be fine. This thing should be in Spatial Ren range, unless it's AV as well. Somewhat tempted to go for the, uh... <laughs> To go for the Hydro Pump for that reason, but I'm so nervous clicking that move. There's the Blastoise. I mean... The Fake Out on Palkia should be predictable. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna Protect here. And I'm actually just gonna Haze away the damage. Or Haze away the Defense Drop, because it might matter in the end. They say could fire me again, that's fine. Uh, they're gonna take some aftermath damage on something here. And I'm actually gonna Hydro Pump. I feel pretty comfortable winning as soon as I get that off. Yeah, I think they're probably Scarf, just by the way they've been playing it. If I miss and I go into Rillaboom, I definitely lose. Let me... I also can't go into anything else. I mean, my best play is just going to be to try to gunk shot this thing. Alright, that's fine. Interesting. <laughs> Get some good damage. Does Grassy Train go first? That'd be phenomenal. As I connect, awesome. And yeah, they're definitely Choice Scarf on that Entei. I'm going to say they're Choice Scarf in the Entei. And if they Aqua Jet this Garbodor, they're not going to like the outcome. They're not going to like the aftermath of that play. Pun obviously extremely intended there.
Come on, bud. Go into the Entei. Actually, I think what I'd love is if they would, like, not be Choice Scarf and they straight up went for the, um... And they went for the freaking, um... Extreme Speed into my Garbodor and just, like, took so much damage from that play. Because what is it? You take one-sixth of your health plus 25% from Aftermath. Alright, yeah. Um, I mean, regardless... I should always Spatial Rend, I think. I could... I mean, I can afford the Spatial Rend, yeah. I don't need to risk the Hydro Pump. And uh, I'll Gunk Shot you. I'm really excited to see who ends up hitting the Garbodor. That is, that's going to be the most exciting outcome of this part of the game. Like that, that, this play, seeing who Garbodor just takes chunks out of is going to be the best. He's definitely taking his time. wonder if he's AFK. Really hope you're not, man. Come on, Chris. Come on. Come on, Chris. Click your move. I just want to see this Garbodor do something. If he's AFK and it clicks for him and it doesn't hit the Garbodor, I'm going to be real upset. Oh, he's straight up AFK, dude. This could have been Garbodor's game. This could have been like the game it did something, but he just... He was AFK. He couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle losing the actual trash, unfortunately. Anyways, I can go to the next game now. Alright, cool. Uh, this is actually going to be a great game for Garbodor. All things considered. I just have to be careful with you in particular. It's always the Lando. It's always the Lando that gives me the biggest issues. Uh, because of that, I feel comfortable leading off Palkia Rillaboom. Garbodor is going to show up because, like I said, I'm just trying to get him in. I'm just trying to get him into these games, and I'm going to go Incineroar, obviously. Come on, Chris. All right. GLHF. So he leads off with the Milotic. can pretty much expect that. Um, I should be able to take something from him right here by going for Hydro Pump into the Incineroar as well as a Fake Out since I should be faster. Yeah, my Grassy Surge hit first, so he can't really defend here unless he has the Ferrothorn. That's like his only switch in. So if I connect this Hydro Pump and the Incineroar stays in trying to Fake Out, I get a lot out of this turn. Much more than my opponent would. As he goes for the Ferrothorn there. Awesome. Come on, connect. Oh, no! <laughs> Why do you do this to me, Pokemon? Why do you have to, like hurt my feelings like that. I mean, there's no way Incineroar stays in here. Clearly, clearly Incineroar doesn't stay in. Um, and my Rillaboom would be the fastest switch in. So I can go to Incineroar, I think, safely. I forget how that mechanic works. I hope it works how I think it does. I can Spatial Rend for the most damage. But I'm going to Hydro Pump. Yeah, there's the Milotic. Good damage, good damage. We go for the Leech Seed. I get some Fake Out pressure this turn. I can go right back into my Rillaboom. Fake this thing out. Then I got some Woodhammer pressure. Yeah. Pretty obvious Protect play. Alright. And now, obviously anticipating the Incineroar to come in. What I can do is you turn on this Milotic. And I'm just going to drop a Flare Blitz into that Ferrothorn. Regardless of what it does, it's not going to like the outcome of that turn. So I have somewhat of a pin here. Not not a very powerful pin. But at least one that makes up for my, you know, missing my game-changing first turn. As the Incin comes in on that turn, let's see if they have Protect. Yeah. Pretty much a given, considering how they played that one out. Um, And now I actually feel really comfortable getting in the Palkia. That'd be great right now. Yeah, alright, so what I'm going to do here is assuming they have to fake out the Rillaboom here, I'm going to go and make this double switch, get a little bit of chip damage on that Incineroar. And I get a somewhat threatening Pokemon in. It's not the most threatening Pokemon, but the fact that I'm able to actually do something to the Incineroar with a Drain Punch, and the fact that he's going to take some Rocky Helmet chip, makes it makes it worth getting the Garbodor in. So they actually fake out the correct Pokemon there. Alright, 
Um, let me go ahead and gunk shot this Incineroar for major damage to that Milotic. And I mean, Incinero I mean, I could always lock something here by going for Spatial Red plus Gunk Shot. The only way this doesn't work out is if they go into the um, Zacian, which I mean, they might. <laughs> I mean, they might. Please don't. All right, cool. Got the Milotic. As long as I connect. Are you kidding? This is the worst. <laughs> this is the worst. Anyways, let me haze here. This Ferrothorn's not setting up on me. I can spatial red my Lodic now. I at least got a I, I at least got a little bit of a pin in that situation. They are facing the one and only Haze Garbodor. And when I say the one and only, I mean I'm probably the only one. Straight up the only one. You're not about to body press sweep me. Not 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 Garbodor, man. Not today. Oh, you tried it. You tried it. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Check this out. Ooh, you tried, bud. You gave it your best, but you did not succeed. Uh, okay, there's the Zacian crown. Obviously, I can go to Incinera really safely now. Uh, and I'm also going to go ahead and drain punch the Zacian for as much damage as I can get. Hopefully, he's not play rough. Uh, I prefer just behemoth, getting behemoth bladed. Yeah, I kind of... Man, I wish Garbodor had some decent poison move like i wish you got poison jab i'd run that over gunk shot any day so they are play rough gotta be careful with that get my berry drain punch you it's gonna leech seed me yeah clearly claro que si um and i mean the fake out is very obvious here it's it's extremely obvious and he doesn't ko me from this range actually he does he did 63 percent um Gonna drain punch again. And Yeah, I mean the play rough does KO me. I would have to Do I sack Palkia? I mean Rillaboom's the least important Pokemon here. Yeah, so he should play rough again. Sacred Sword, that works too. Alright. Um Fake out's really, really free here. Hmm, how do I win this? I can U-turn on this Incineroar, assuming he's about to fake out my Garbodor. Because I don't think he stays in here. Yeah, I'm going to U-turn on the Incineroar. Yeah, nice. Get back in the Incineroar. Please don't U-turn. <laughs> good damage, good damage. So just Barry, makes sense, makes sense. Is he Swords Dance? Hello. I mean, you know how this goes, right? You know how this goes. Are you, are you close combat? Please don't be close combat. I'd hate that. I'd really hate that. Um... Alright, check this out. I hope I'm slower than you. I'm not. Alright. I'm gonna get in the Palkia here. Throat chop. Nice. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I have a little bit of a pin here. I'm gonna Drain Punch plus Hydro Pump. That should KO an incoming Zacian if he tries it. And even if he doesn't, at the very least, uh, he has no switching options, so I can try to cycle Intimidate to win. How do you drop Snarl for Swords Dance? Oh yeah, here we go. Come on, connect. There we go, that should be game. That should be game. Yeah! <laughs> oh, Garbodor, you beautiful Pokemon. You absolutely beautiful Pokemon. I need to get you out of here, though. I definitely need to get you out of here. Otherwise, we're going to start losing to um, Leech Seed Stall. Yeah. Um, should probably fake out the Palkia. Let's do this. Throat Chop, that's fine. 
That's fine. Alright, um, now I just spam Flare Blitz into this Ferrothorn until I win. And I'm gonna get into my Garbodor here. Now they just forfeit. Nice! Cool! Awesome. I was actually not expecting to win that one, but... Like I said, like, I just needed that pin. I needed him to somehow justify in his brain getting rid of, uh, Zacian was smarter than getting rid of Incineroar, but... Nah, we're good. Alright. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, leave a like in it, subscribe to the channel. I did my best to make Garbodor work. I think it actually worked somewhat okay, funny enough. Uh, we didn't get to see it tackle on Urshifu, but that's whatever. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, join the Discord, do whatever, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.